So, I am going to give you a few questions. You need to check and let me know what is the right answer. So, are you all ready to work along with me? Shall we have fun working with maths together? Okay. So, here comes your first question. Okay. So, now from the given slot, you need to find the greatest number. Okay. And your options are 435, 156, 529, 625 and 658. Okay. And your right option is 435. Option B is 156. Option C, 658 and option D is 529. Okay. So, can you see the numbers given here? 435, 156, 529, 625 and 658. So, what is the first rule? We need to compare the numbers. We need to see them which is which number comes the first. But the question says we need to find the greatest number. Okay. So, we need to first find out which is the greatest among all. Option A. Is it the right option? No. Because we have numbers which is greater than 435. Right? Yes. 156. Is it the right option? No. It is the smallest number of the given lot. Okay. What about 658? Just see, is there any number which is greater than 658? No. 658 is the greatest number among these 5 given slots. Right? So, my right answer will be option C. Shall we do the next sum? Here comes your next question. You need to find out the smallest number. So, now you need to find the smallest number, okay? And your options are 728, 734, 723, 891 and 40, okay? And your options are 734, option B, 891, Option C, 728 and option D is 40. So, what are we going to do? The first thing, very good. We will be comparing the numbers, right? So, first is it 728 or it's 734 or it's 723, 891 or 40. So, is the option A the right one? Just see and tell me, no, that is not the right option because you have numbers which are smaller than 734. 891, is it my right option? Just see and tell me, no, 891 is the greatest number in the given lot. Whereas my question asked me to find the smallest number, okay. So, this is not the right option as well. What about 728? No, that is not the right option. Option D, 40. Is it the right answer? Yes, 40 is the least of the given lot. Okay, so option D is my right answer. Clear children? Shall we have some more fun? So, here comes your third question. Now, your third question says, you have to fill up these series. Okay. I am going to give you a series. You need to find out what is this series talking all about and accordingly you need to fill in the number. Okay. Okay. 
So this is your given number, 236, then 233, then you have two blanks, then 224, 221 and 218. Can you tell what is the series that is being followed here? Just check and tell me. Very good. We are following here the skip counting of 3, right? We are following the skip counting of 3 in the backward counting method, okay? And my options here are 230, 227, option B, 231, 224, option C, 229, 227, and option D, is none of these. So shall we do the skip counting by 3? 36. What is 3 back from 36? 35, 34, 33. Yes? So what is next 3 back from 33? 32, 31 and 30. So it will be 2, 3, 0. Can we count next 3 digits back from 230? It's 20, 229. 228, 227. Then the next three is 226, 225, 224. Then 223, 222, 221. Finally, 220, 219, 218. So 230 and 227 is my right answer, which is nothing but option A. Clear? Shall I give you a few more? Here is your next question. Your next question is, you have to use the greater, lesser or equal than symbols correctly. Okay? And your first question is 157 to 49. Your next question is 3, 19 and 1, 19. Your next question is 3, 48 and 3, 48. Your fourth question is 7, 50 and 7, 50. Your next question is 80 plus 40 and 120. And your next option is 90 plus 10 and 110. Okay. So shall we solve these sums using the greater than, lesser than sign? Okay. First question says 157, 249. Can you tell me which is the bigger number? Yes, it is 249, right? Because 200 is greater than 100. So, crocodile is going to eat which number? It is going to eat? Good, 249. So, we can say that 157 is lesser than 249. Tell me the next answer. Whether it's 319 or 119. Very good. 319 is greater than 119. So the crocodile is going to eat 319. Very good. Next, 348 and 348. Which number is bigger? Very good. Both are same. There is no need of comparison. So we will use the symbol equal to. Okay, next is 750 and 750. Which one is the bigger one? Both are the same, right? So, here also it will be the equal to sign. There is no need to compare the number. The next one is a tricky question, children. It's 80 plus 40 and then 120. So, what is 80 plus 40? 80. Plus 4, 0. 8 plus 4 is 9, 10, 11 and 12. So my answer is 120. And what is the other one given? It's also 120, right? So both are the same. 
So 120 and 120 they are same. So it will be again an equal to sign. Okay. Similarly, the next one they have asked is 90 plus 10 and here they have given as 110. So what is 90 plus 10? 0 and 9 plus 1 is 10. So 100. So 90 plus 10 should be 100. Whereas the other one is given as 110. So which is the bigger one? Is it 100 or is it 110? 110, right? So the crocodile will eat 110. So 100 is lesser than 110. Are you clear children? Shall we do some more sums? Okay. 